on 95.3 FM in Windhoek, Desert Radio. The Bold Voice. And uh, if you are on Facebook, you'll see that we have a guest in studio. And this morning we are joined by the First National Bank Namibia Regulatory Risk Manager, that is Nesta de Jong. And uh, we'll be talking about the Know Your Customer Initiative, a process that works to prevent fraud. Nesta, good morning. Good morning. How Alex. are you? Fine, thank you. Quite excited to be here. <laughs> First well, time on air? It's actually my second time. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's a Monday morning. I feel like sometimes people don't want to commit to things on a Monday, you know, start the week off easy. But um, I think our conversation will be easy and interesting because we really just want to get to know more about uh, the Know Your Customer initiative. Um, so I think to start off, um, let's talk about that. Uh, what exactly is this Know Your Customer initiative? Okay, thank you. So as part of a legal requirement issued by the Financial Intelligence Center, FMB is required to refresh and remediate the personal or business information and documents of our customers on a regular basis. Mm. Mm-hmm. And uh, talk to us about why this initiative and this process is actually very important. Yes, so we need to ensure that the details and verification documents of all our customers are up to date. Mm -hmm. This applies to your natural persons, companies, partnerships, close corporation, trust, and other legal entities. Mm. Mm. And with that, with that process um, that you as a financial institution has to go through, um, how exactly is that going to help with preventing fraud? So basically, if we have your up-to-date information currently, then we would know who we are dealing with. We'll have a better sense of who our customer is. Mm. So if we have that information, we'll be able to deal with fraud by knowing our customers betterly and mitigating the risk of any identity fraud. Mm. And then perhaps just for the benefit of our listeners, um, just explain a bit maybe in depth the um, customer identification procedure in uh, this process. Okay, thanks. So firstly, we have three types of ways for customers basically to update their information. Mm. What they can firstly do is then reach out to their nearest branch or private banker to update their information. Then secondly, what they can also then do is then also reach out to us via our contact center, Mm -hmm. which the telephone line is 061. Two double nine double two double two, and then the easiest and most convenient way is just to log into your FNB app, mm. and then you click on my to do list, mm-hmm. and then you follow the easy prompts. That's a way easiest way. Mm. And then um, from the side of the bank, right? What are the processes that um, allow you to identify suspicious transactions? What are those markers going to be um, that alerts you that something kind of suspicious, kind of fishy is happening uh, with a transaction or with an account? So basically what we'll do is then whenever we contact customers, we'll never ask them to provide us with their PINs, their OTPs, Mm. or verify any credit or debt transactions we will only contact them to ask them to update their refresh information Mm. so should then it happen that customers are contacted for any of those personal sensitive information customers should be cautious that this is then scammers that are out there Mm. Mm. and uh, then just uh, as we begin to wind down our our conversation um, are there perhaps you know some parameters for enhanced due diligence uh, just within this process Yes, no, Mm. definitely. So basically what we'll do is then also whenever customers provide us with their updated information currently, we will also then ensure as a second line of defense that this information is accurate, is very accurate and Mm. up to date and in line with the customer's details that they provide. And what we'll also request from them is then to provide us with documentation that Mm -hmm. will also confirm that this is initially the customer updating the information. Mm. And then, um, you know, I'm I'm curious about um, what sparked or yeah, what sparked this initiative uh, for the bank to decide that we need to have a system like this. Um, we know that over the past, I think it was last week or the week mm. before, uh, where there were reports of, you week, know, yeah. even some high level people yes. falling victim uh, to scams and scammers. So is it a matter of there's we're seeing more of these kind of incidents happening? So the bank um, is, is, is feeling like they need to put more in place to protect their customers or what exactly inspired this? 
Okay, so firstly, it's a regulatory requirement like I've alluded to earlier mm. from mm. the Financial Intelligence Center. Mm. But besides that, it's also in the best interest of our customers to provide us with the up-to-date information because mm. this basically is also in line with us mitigating any co uh, regulatory risk that's involved then in terms of them, cybercrime risk, mm. you know, identity fraud. So that whole initiative is actually sparked by us having a better knowing our customers betterly having their most recent up-to-date information and that way we'd be in a better position to protect our customers against any fraudulent scams then going on mm. Mm. well i definitely think it is a good initiative especially for your clients uh, so uh, we do hope that they do become uh, you know more accustomed to this process uh, but uh, nesta for your time this morning really do appreciate it i think we have come to the end of our conversation this morning so thank you so much for coming through no thanks a lot and i really enjoyed this session <laughs> definitely and then also just on a closing note mm. i also would like to encourage our customers that we are also providing incentives for them just to follow this initiative initiative mm. mm -hmm. we are offering them one month free account fees and then thirty dollars at time just for them to follow this process Ooh. and also mm. okay. thank you nice Lovely stuff there. First National Bank Namibia Regulatory Risk Manager, Nesta de Jong, just uh, speaking to us about the Know Your Customer Initiative, which is a process that works to prevent fraud. 